Hey guys, Matt DeWitt from MWD Adventures. Today we're going to take a look at our rental trailer, a detailed walk around. Today we're going to do a full walk around of our rental 5x9 2023 mid range deluxe from Hiker Trailer. First off, the color. We got it in a gorgeous midnight blue. Absolutely love the color. So we'll start right up here in the front. We got a 235 75R15 nitrogen filled Goodyear on this trailer. Uh, really good quality tires. It's got plenty of tread on there. We opted for the front tire mount because changing the tire is so much easier when it's easy to get to. We have a seven way pin and a two inch ball in the front. We also carry adapters so we can go from a seven pin to a four pin if the renter doesn't have that option. We have the large toolbox. We felt like bringing gear back dirty, a place to put shocks, a place to put the air vent system. All that is very nice to keep in a dirty location. Toolbox works great for that. On the side, we put a couple of hooks. These little hooks hold the doors back. So in windy situations, we got a little bit of cordage there so you can hold the door back, pin it back. Uh, when it comes to the front here, one of the things that we noticed in our last build is that we did not have... One of the things we noticed in our last build is we didn't have proper ventilation. We wanted to have a little bit more, just more than just opening the side windows. So we opted to do the ventilation ports on the front, which are kind of an AC prep, is what Hiker calls it. So we can screw on a couple of 90 degree angles. So we can screw on a couple of 90 degree angle vents and we have a snap-on cover that my son makes. Mosquito net protected bottom and this allows fresh air to come in but no bugs. And we snap that on and we can get a little bit better ventilation, especially in a rainstorm. Especially in a rainstorm situation, we can have proper ventilation into the trailer and still run the max fan to get nice, fresh, cool air coming in from the front of the trailer and exiting out the max fan. It really, really makes a huge difference with ventilation. It really makes a huge difference in ventilation by having the air coming in from the front through these vent ports, these AC ports, and then going out the max fan, even on the lowest setting. That prevents condensation, extremely important in any small teardrop is having good ventilation. As we move to the top, you can see we have a 100 amp solar panel. That is gonna be utilized with our portable power system. You're looking at some USB charging in the front on the inside of the trailer. You're running a max fan. You're running a light on the inside. You have a light in your galley area. That's about it. And you have an exterior light on the outside. We're not talking a whole lot of draw. We're probably in the area of 10 to 12 amps. This also gives us the option to going down the road, recharge the goal zero by plugging in that cable and allowing power to restore into the battery going from place to place while you're camping. We have a max fan on top. You're gonna to wanna to get some decent airflow through the trailer, so a max fan that can be run in the rain and not have any issues, we felt, felt like it was critical. So we opted with a max fan on the rental trailer. So we move around to the side. We opted for a 180 Darchi awning. On the awning part of it, we had had a straight out awning on the last trailer and had some damage from that. So we opted to go with something a little bit more robust, a little bit stronger, easier to deploy if it was a one person situation. So we opted with the Darchi 180. We think the Darchi makes a great product line and the 180 awning is an excellent feature for this trailer. So as we move to the side of the trailer, we have those off-road tires. This is about two inches shorter than the bigger brother, the mid-range XL. We opted for the jack setup in the back. This makes it easy for changing tires. It also makes it easy rolling around inside the trailer. You don't feel your spouse or your mate rolling around and you don't have as much wiggle in the trailer. We've got the five pound propane. So if they bring their own stove, situation like that, we also provide hose so they can easily connect to that and be able to do some cooking. We opted for an exterior light, which we've put a Laminex product on, and this tames it down, makes it a little less bright, which is nice and doesn't attract bugs. We noticed the white lights attract a lot of bugs. We opted to go with the diamond plate option, um, not only a quarter in the front, but we went with the lower option. 
That's because if we feel if someone's on a gravel road, it's gonna give a little bit better protection on the side of the trailer. Okay, with the back of the trailer, it's your standard galley configuration for any hiker trailer. You've got the large swing out door. As we get into the galley, look here, hiker has the standard two inch receiver. So the standard hiker trailer has an 18 inch middle shelf, top shelf and bottom shelf. And what we opted to do for this rental is go a little bit bigger. We figured a little bit more storage makes it a little easier to store some stuff in the back of the trailer. We love that option, a 24. We also went with the two portholes at the top so you can easily access gear from inside or outside of the trailer. We also have the galley pass through, which works excellent for passing some food through in the morning or your cup of coffee. And you can also hook up your chargers and battery cables and that kind of thing. Those can all get passed through the galley area, plugged into the goal zero at night. You can set out your phones, your watches, your chargers, anything you need to charge up overnight, and you can easily access it through the doors. So let's take a look, closer look at the power system. We opted for a portable system just because you can pull the battery out and use it around camp, or it's easy to recharge for us as prepping it for renters. We can pull it in the house and charge it up. When it's not rental season, that battery there can be utilized all year round by our household, loaned out to friends, used in a power outage, uh, any kind of situation where we have a weather event or no power. So we can utilize the battery outside of it just being a rental for the times of the year that it's out. It's easy to replace when it comes to replacement time for the battery. Um, Hiker Trailer partnered up with Goal Zero. As you can see right now, I'm recharging my Canon battery. And we will talk more in depth about the power system and how this is all wired up. Stay tuned for later videos on that. On the top, we've just got a few tubs and the pass-through, which has a few essentials that we feel are critical. We include a fire extinguisher. We also have a seal smoke in the front, in the front porthole way in the front of the trailer. I'll provide one of those. Down here, we have optional stove for a renter situation and some utensils and some cooking equipment. So on this rental, we opted to take our 230 shower room, which we absolutely love, and moved it from our red hiker, our personal one, over to the rental. Uh, one of the things that we noticed, people like to have a little, a little bit of privacy. So whether they're out in the woods or whether they're in a state campground, a place for people that don't want to change inside a small trailer, now they have a place outside to change. And uh, to be able to use it as a potential shower room or a bathroom or however they feel needed. So it provides that added privacy. So the 230 is on this side of the trailer. We have a little bit of badging for our logo and um, just the standard second door, which is common on a lot of trailers. Surprisingly, a lot of owners still go with one, one door, but we stuck with two for the renter because if you've got that middle of the night emergency or potty stop, you don't want to wake up your mate. So. You've got a bailout on one on each side. And then the very back of the trailer, we have a shore power plug. This is for recharging the trailer when we just have it sitting in our driveway or if you're plugging in at a campground, that's a way to feed power to the power system. We went with the Millard trifold mattress. Can be put in couch mode. Uh, we also go with a little bit of hypervent below it to prevent condensation. And we're gonna have full links to all these products if you guys are interested down in the description. But um, this stuff is absolutely key. We've had it on all four of our trailers now that we've had over the years for per preventing condensation underneath the mat. It's worked really, really well. We have our galley pass through there in the middle and we have a couple portholes so you can access gear in the middle of the night. We've got a curtain, one on each side for privacy. There's a window on each side that's adjustable. This side you have the porthole covers or you have the portholes in the front and you have a little bit of a USB charging station with a voltmeter, a power on off switch, so that blue light's not blinding you in the middle of the night. And then what we opted to do was do a shelf in the front. We put in ourselves and we put in on top of the shelf, a piece of kind of for like a countertop, just to kind of keep the wood from getting scratched up. And then you can see your AC prep package, ventilation holes in the front. So very simple, very clean setup. This allows campers a chance to see what a very simple clean setup is from the factory and also give them an opportunity to 
see what they like, what they don't like if they were to build the trailer out themselves. On a su super bright sunny day, what are your thoughts about the rental? I like it. The blue color, there's just something about it. Yeah, there is. <laughs> it's a very, very sharp trailer. Yes, it is. Um, it's fairly lightweight. That's what we love. That's why we stick with the hiker platform. Mm -hmm. We are really enjoyed putting it together. We're hoping families have a lot of good adventures with it. Yes, make definitely. Make a lot of good memories. Mm -hmm. Yep. So if you're interested, mwdadventures.com. Yep. You can go to our website, check it all out. We do list it on several different sites. Right. All that information will be on our rental page on our website. So all the products that you've seen um, that we've shown that are with the trailer, we will link down below. Yep. Uh, goes to our Amazon affiliate store mm -hmm. and does help out the channel if you can, are considering. We appreciate that and thank you for your support. Definitely. Um, so we are gonna do several videos on the rental process yes. and how it works and our pros and cons Definitely. from last year. Mm -hmm. 2022 is our first year, so we've got some- We learned a little bit. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. We've got some things we've learned mm -hmm. from the first year. Yep. So um, with that, I think we are ready to close this video out. And like we always say, get, get out, out and, and do, do some, some camping. camping. We'll see you next time, guys.